Hey guys, Alicia here. Today's video is going to be about three different ways that you can increase your sales within Etsy. If you did not see my video that I did yesterday on how to get feedback on Etsy, you'll probably see it flash up up here at the top of this video and you can click on that link to watch it. But before I get into this video, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification so you do not miss out on any future videos that I will be uploading about how to make money online. Also, if you have not yet signed up for my Make Money With Me online email, I will leave a link to that in the description below. And also, don't forget to join my Facebook group called Etsy Passive Income. You just search under groups and type Etsy Passive Income. You answer a couple of questions and we would love to have you in our group. So many people that are so helpful there. Okay, so I'm gonna jump right into it. The first way to increase sales within Etsy is to offer your items in bundles because then you can actually increase the price. Now, I wanna talk about the pros and cons of this. So right here, you know, and this is not knocking this person in any way because obviously they're doing excellent. Um, they have several sales that they have made. Um, but I think that they're selling their self a little bit short here. So they are offering, you know, all this like, 1,160 plus monogram frames, 660 plus quotes and sayings, 360 cut shapes, and 50 monogram fonts, all for $19.95. And they come in all these different file types. Now, this is a great idea to put all these in a bundle. However, I think that it's worth a lot more than $19.95. And Actually, I feel like if I purchased this item with all this amount of items in, you know, to download, I'd, I, it might crash my computer. <laughs> so I'm not sure about that one. So I want to show another example here. Now, this is one I think is a great idea to do because this is kind of just right. So right here they're offering all of these SVG bundles and the, it's in a theme bundle and I've talked about theme bundles before in my previous videos so right here this is the kitchen SVG bundle and once again I still think they're undercharging they're only charging two dollars for all of these items and I feel like they can get more so now they're actually showing you know what it's gonna look like you know, on a shirt, you know, in a frame. And then it says this file included in our whole shop. So they're including something else. So this only comes with 15 items and 15, you know, so if you need the SVG, you can only down just, you can download just the SVG. If you need the PNG, you can only down, or you can just download the, the PNG. So this is something that I recommend is to offer something in a bundle. However, I would not sell yourself short. You know, I would definitely, you know, offer something that you are actually going to make some money off of. Um, you know, at least charge something. I think that this right here, let's look at this one. They're actually charging $7.95, and let's see how many items that they have. Perfect. Okay, so they are offering 12 designs, just 12, and they're actually charging $7.95. Now, in this case, I think this is per perfect, where it's offering a discount for purchasing in a bundle, but they're not selling their self short by, you know, putting $2 on here. Now, we have also talked about, or I have talked about in previous videos about making your thumbnails and your pictures look fabulous. What sells this 
the most is that she has actually put this on all these um, oven mitts, pot holders, and she actually is showing what it looks like. So, and then she's got, you know, a little thing. Thank you for visiting our shop. This listing is for digital files only. So I love this, that she's actually showing what they're going to look like in a bundle. Okay, so offering bundles is a great way to increase your sales on Etsy, but just don't sell yourself short. If you go back and you remember all the things that I talked about, about making a beautiful Etsy cover photo, and you fill out your about me section and you all of your listings look proportionate and beautiful and everything is filled out you're not going to have any trouble making sales so don't sell yourself short okay another way that i wanted to talk about how to increase sales on etsy is by offering coordinating items so in this case right here they're offering a matching thank you card to their already, um, I believe it was a birthday card. So is what you can do in your listings is like if you make a birthday card, you can offer, you can put in your listing that I have coordinating items in my shop and you can even put a link to the coordinating items and you can even offer a discount if, you know, like, maybe 15% off or something if they purchase the coordinating items. So putting coordinating items and also putting a link in the description that you have the coordinating items is a great way to also increase your sales within Etsy. I'm talking here, this video is about within Etsy, not outside of Etsy. That was a different video. So when you make a, like for example, a birthday invitation and you wanna have a matching thank you card, make sure you put a link in your listing, you know, that you have the coordinating item and put a link to it when you are typing out your description here. You know, coordinating items available here and then put the link. Okay, so my favorite way to increase your sales on Etsy is offer custom work. Now, I know I've talked about the beauty of making something on Etsy and it being an instant download and you don't have to worry about anything. It's already done. You make the product once, you can list it 999 times and you can sell it that many times and then you can if you sell it that many times you can turn around and resell it but if you offer to do something like this where you are offering your favorite quote in this typewriter font and then they put the author they have this in a beautiful mock-up photo and they are offering custom work now if you do an Etsy search on custom work this applies to business cards, you know, um, logos, and so many other different things. So this is something that I highly recommend that you do. You already have the font here. So the font is not up for debate. Um, this is what the quote is going to look like. So this kind of looks more farmhouse to me, um, something like that. So you can do this in a, a bunch of different fonts, and then you can have different listings for each one and just put your favorite quote in this font. And maybe you could offer like, you know, some different colors. Like if they want, you know, if they want it in black, that's fine. Or if they want it in a dark gray, that's fine. Or, but maybe they have warm tones in their home as that is their decoration. I know my house is currently decorated in a lot of warm tones, reds, golds, you know, things like that. So, and it, like orange. So I would probably want this in like a tan or a beige. So I highly recommend that you 
do that. So these are just a few ways to increase your sales within Etsy. And if you do have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Also again, I am trying to reach my 1000 subscriber goal and I'm getting close. So if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification because you don't want to miss out on any future videos about making money online. Thank you so much for watching and I hope everyone has a great day.